happy start to a wonderful tour. 7 a.m. We're leaving. We're wasted. And that's a great way to start a tour. You know, just being completely, absolutely tired. We finished the album last night. And we had two mixes to listen to and improve last night. After a long day After of the photo shoot. a huge long day of the photo shoot. And, uh... It was a long day. A photo shoot is like, for those of you out there who are married, it's much like, it kind of feels very similar. You're just smiling and smiling and standing and waiting and then hurrying up to a new location and waiting to set up and then, you know, eating bad food. And I think I got food poisoning last night because I ate food that was on the table all day. So things will pick up from here. It's only going up. So now we go home, because I forgot my passport. Nothing like a little uh, drama early in the morning. It's not like the passport's a big deal because I've got uh, identification. It's the fact that my visa is stapled to the passport. Disorganization is the uh, one of the costs of being extremely over, under, you know, wasted. Beautiful sight. In order to even have a sound check, lunch will be have to be taken out and minimal stops. There's four bands tonight. Us, LaRue, Eli and a, how, or a local guy from the university where we're at. So, need your cooperation when it comes time for setting up and sound checking that everything's gonna have to run really, really quickly. One of our gas stops, we could pick up some food possibly. We could do that, yes. Good, good. So, just so you're aware that that's the scoop today. Lord, we thank you for uh, this day and uh, for a chance to get back out on the road. We thank you for the last few months that, for, that we've had to be at home and to record. It woke me from a dream Now I see the paint run On the watercolor kingdom And I wanna believe again Just like the first time Went from my eyes It took the scales of blinding Here in my for you Oh, that's better. So, uh, we're going to Arby's. We used to veto Arby's. I used to hate it until they had these. They got these really good sandwiches. Coffee at 12:28. It's very late. Very late coffee. So now I don't mind eating at Arby's. I'm gonna go find myself a garden fresh sandwich, eat it, and maybe go back to sleep. What's your time want frame over there? All right, I'll pass you right over. Here, here's Glenn first. Who is this? What's your name? Marty. Hello. Pretty good. Is this Marty? Marty, this is Glenn Lavender. Nice to meet you, man. You don't have the right station. I don't know. Oh. Just scan. I'll tell you if I hear it. You'll get feedback, eh? Sure am. 
We are on our way. We're just coming through uh, Indianap Indianapolis, I guess. And the guys just turned the radio on in the van so I can hear myself. And actually, we just, um, basically just yesterday, uh, got out of the studio from recording our next album, which will be called So Much for Substitutes. And uh, literally left the studio about 11.30 last night, listened to the final mix, and got home and packed for this three-week trip now. So <laughs> here we go. We haven't really, haven't really stopped for quite a while. I mean, the last three months we've been home recording, so... Uh, we haven't had a chance to be on the road a whole lot, so we're, we're actually looking forward to getting back out now and, uh, and playing and seeing seeing all the people that we've met over right, the past right. few years. Uh, so the name, right? It's uh, well, it, it actually comes from a song I wrote, uh, I'll say about seven years ago, and uh, it was a song about uh, a friend of mine that I'd lost in a in a jet ski accident, and I wrote it about him and how his life was. Uh, so tragically shortened and uh, but the song was saying how down here we don't have the big picture but we know that uh, our God does have the big picture in mind and you know he knows what's going on we found that it had a really cool implication as far as our ministry and how we wanted to always remain approachable okay thanks again we really appreciate it Mark. all right okay bye-bye bye-bye and here's down here on WJCF 88.1 Our uh, wonderful sound technician thinks he knows where he's going because he's been here once in his life. Hey, Did you find it, Dave? This is the idea, man. Very cool. This thing uh, makes my amp sound better. I can crank it up and it won't get really loud. It's called a hot plate. This is my new baby. It's a little, uh, need to wipe her down a little bit. That's a new Les Paul. It's a real Gibson. <laughs> They were wanting to know if, if there's a way we could all do some kind of a, a, a worship song at the end or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Ever know God of Wonders? Yeah. Mm -hmm. God, God of Wonders is really good. Oh, no, no, that one. Yeah. That's yeah, that'd one. be great. Um, we like to hang out with people after the show, like after we're done, you know, and um, they would just informally say, you know, hey, after the show, all of us, you know, we're willing to just chill and hang out with you guys. We want to get to know you, you know, as best we can in a short time. Yeah. yeah. What songs do you want to replace with the new songs? So we still need intro, free me up, larger, making me, something like that. Yeah. This is only an hour set. Okay. What would be the easiest transition for you? Uh, well, well, it's going to be a transition. 
position regardless of what it is. Yeah. They want this music uh, to be something that will wash your feet tonight, to encourage you, that you will leave here better than when you came. So will you please give a great round of applause for Down Here. about these things like don't let the sun go down on your anger the sun's already gone down today do you have anger whatever you have against your brother or against your sister before you present yourself before God go and make amends that speaks of right now we the people who others call Christians because of our peculiar way of talking and acting and serving one another have a higher call to love one another to be the church to be a bastion of hope and comfort for the world how can we do that if we're at odds with one another be reconciled take that long to prepare this morning to get this look. I should wear my Irish shirt today. St. Patty's Day. Oh, it's not? Well, they got the wrong big person. Yeah. Sleep all right? Four hours, man. Usually, my thoughts are quite random at 6.30 in the morning because my eyes are closed and I really have no control over them. It's called dreaming. But on the road, you never know just how early you're going to be up until you're there. And you're sitting there, awake. <laughs> <laughs> Crossing the bridge into Canada. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, now we're here in the Canada. Here we are. Here we are. So while I'm in Canada, I'm thinking of uh, applying for a job at McDonald's because, you know, I have the freedom to do that in Canada. Make a few bucks on the side. Come back to the U.S., keep doing my thing with the music. They won't let me work at McDonald's down here. But they will let me do down here. One's not gonna like that. If it was for 
come back to Canada and to see such an exciting people. This is going to be a lot of fun. They're doing some more. Very cool. They're doing some more, yeah. The yeah. tables are back there. Tonight was a wonderful experience. Our first show in Canada in months. I can't remember the last time we played in Canada, and the crowd was awesome. Yeah, that's what was called. The, the, that thing. I knew what you were doing. That's awesome. And make sure you say hi to Sean, okay? I will. The only one that kind of jumped out to me was Breaking Me Down, actually. Why? Yeah. In the list, because it's so close. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, then it's a guitar riff thing. Yeah. Big tower. Look how huge it is, eh? Anchor up, tow me out of this pit I'm dreading. Turn this vessel's path around. Welcome to Toronto. I look above, I'm in love with the pace you're setting. From this stream, we're ocean bound. Are you guys okay? Yeah, we're just waiting. We uh, in Canada are blessed to uh, have a larger selection of candy bars, or we call them chocolate bars here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the caramels. You got your Mirage. You got your Arrow. <laughs> Very fine chocolate bars. <laughs> <laughs> There's much music right here. This is our uh, Canadian um, MTV, basically, right there. I'm gonna see a lot, of, hopefully, a lot of kids out there. I'm gonna see a lot of. Uh, Jay, Mark, and Glenn kind of roaming around. It's nice to have the drum riser here because it means I can actually see what's going on. Um, usually I have a great view of Mark's back. Welcome to Mission Fest 2003. Are you excited to be here tonight? I can't really hear you. Are you excited to be here tonight? So here we are, it's 1 30. It's snowing out. We're in downtown Toronto. Look at the CN Tower here for a backdrop. I don't know if you can see up there, but there it is. It's a beautiful night. We spent some time with the family, it was good to see. <laughs> He's still recording. <laughs>
6 11 and we got to bed at what, 1 35. Mm -hmm. He's actually a friend from home. I didn't even know he was going to be here until today. Okay. To so they just, who, so who, okay. Cool. So, uh, okay, so one more time. We're going to throw this into that guy. Yeah, and then put that guy over there. <laughs> I think you're turning the wrong way. Okay, I'll here. Okay, just a second. Hmm. Tough part is I'm going to have to be honest about how I'm feeling right now. I'm pretty tired. It's like, what time is it? It's like almost 9 o'clock where we came from this morning. And uh, so I'm, I'm running a little, on an empty here, about half a, half a Wendy's salad. Today's like been a short, gong show day anyway. Short little things that'll just That's good. That's warm great. them up to you guys. I will be funny looking. I'm, well, I'm playing congas? So is the purpose to be worshipful? Yeah, I mean, yeah. So we're just using the worship songs to entertain them? Is that the angle? I hate to say that. No, they want to they want to worship all okay. the evening. The Christian people with characters, right? Okay. So it's not right, a right, okay. thing. It's like no, they want to worship, but don't make it really deep and intimate. And oh yeah, I know, oh, no, 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 I know. Play worship songs, but don't be serious. Keep it light. And by the way, you got five minutes to do it all, too. <laughs> hey, look, let's pray. I don't know what I we're doing. Get the attitude right here. That'll probably be a good thing. Let me, yeah. let me pray for us. Lord, help us to be gracious and to be servants. And forgive me for, uh, for my attitude here. Would you just um, 
help this evening, this thing now, and, and the rest of the show to just be a, a night where we get to connect with people and show people really who we are in your precious name. Amen. Mace, PowerPoint, switched over without a glitch. Seems like it's looking like congas before. There are two tower, towering congas. Hello. Thank How you so doing? much. Thank you for coming to our birthday party. We got short people around here. What's going on? <laughs> So that was um, the guys kind of ad lib uh, spur of the moment. They did a great job. I, I think that's why I like working with these guys that they're willing to do that kind of thing. At what point do you just say, you know what, we're going to come in and serve and just do this for the sake of doing it because they've asked and say, no, sorry, it's, it's just not high enough quality. It's great to be able to use your talents in that way. And, and glorify him with them, so it's cool. I missed something. I missed the action. Let's go, eat. Let's go eat. I'm hungry. I'm freezing cold. I'm tired. I'm tired. This is wonderful, dude. This is smelling so good. Oh, it smells so good. And buns, as we call them in Canada, as opposed to rolls. Food for the hungry. Well, we're in our uh, dressing room here before our show in Kelowna, our first show on the West Coast. And, well, there's a few conditions to this dressing room which we thought were a little unusual. If you look down here, no fever, no runny nose, no diarrhea, no colds or coughs, no contagious infections. We have a little bit of Kelowna action coming up for you. See ya. My name is Dwayne. Somebody knew that out there. They ought to get a prize. Whoever said that, come and see me later. I'll give you something. I actually represent Briarcrest Bible College. It is our privilege to be part of the sponsorship team for this tour, and we're excited to be here tonight. One of the reasons that uh, we're thrilled to be able to uh, participate in this event is that uh, even the band that you heard earlier are all former students of Briarcrest or current students of Briarcrest. And uh, down here, you hear in a few minutes, you know, all three of those guys were students at one time as well as their manager. So we have a, a neat connection and we're excited that they let us uh, partner with them on this tour. I'm going out and uh, gonna chat with some people. See who's out there. It's good. I thought. It's good. It's over. It's good. It's over. Yeah. So you know what? Sometimes when you're the uh, the weakest, you know, you never know. The thing is, is here's the deal. Who cares? You know. Ultimately, you know. Who cares the way it went? I guess I'm just in that kind of mood. <laughs> Tired too, can you tell? Why don't you follow me here? We'll go for a walk. No, I want to thank you guys. Last night, um, a lot of glitches to work through, and obviously things didn't run as smoothly as we would have liked. I think you guys understand that can be expected first time. 
Um, sound crews working together, first time we actually set up sound equipment. Um, it's to be expected. So I just want to thank you guys for your flexibility. I, I just thought it'd be good to talk just really quickly about structure, about the tour, about how this is working. Be sensitive. Uh, you guys have been through this before where people have to leave early in the morning. Uh, that's tough because you're getting in late. And try to work that out so that you're not putting these people out. Uh, we'll try to work it out before you leave, but it's going to happen where all of a sudden you're in a situation where it's uh, the timing is all messed and you're going to be looking at five hours of sleep and stuff. But uh, bigger picture stuff, the way it's working, um, Wes is road manager as far as everybody on this tour. Uh, it all goes through Wes. Dear God, we uh, want to give you thanks for your goodness to us. Thank you for the opportunity that we can uh, know you in a personal way through Jesus Christ and that through uh, the avenue of music have the opportunity to share that message with uh, an awful lot of people. We look forward to what you're going to do and we look forward to giving you all of the praise and glory. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. I lost track. There's too many people. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 15, 16, 17. Four more guys, and you've got my bag. I'm road manager for our road manager. Surely the heavens declare the glory of God. The open skies proclaim the work of His hands. They never stop putting His knowledge on display. All through the night and through the day, listen to the stars sing. <laughs> what is our propulsion? Is that loud? I think services are propulsion. Service? Um, you know, that's if we were just all about music and not actually, you know, working and trying to actually help people out and, and help people's ministries out, um, you know, I think that would be just really wasted effort, you know. You know the, the temptation when you're in a band is to, to you know, hunger and thirst for fame and, and for recognition and for a really sense, you know, a sense of self-worth and, and ultimately you want to be influential as a band really in your life you know? and uh, we've chosen to do this thing, but I think God's working on me and just saying you know are you willing are you willing to be boring for me are you willing to be a corner person who really isn't in the limelight but um, is influential with a smile or a handshake or, or just serving someone picking up garbage you know is that is that good enough for you the dreamers from the other side We are the dancers who cannot be denied We are messengers that no one can hide And there's no language on earth Where their voices are not heard Yeah, it's not a concert, it's it's a, you know, in a sense of, of a concert in terms of a uh, an evening concert. Completely right? understand. Okay. Chances are they're going to be doing more of a stripped down acoustic. Yep, that'll type, be fine. Um, okay. Are we going to sing songs with the kids too? Yes. Great. Yeah, yeah that'll be fine. I, I don't. I don't want to. You know, down you guys in terms of you know oh, keep don't down. Worry, but don't worry. I just I have all these issues that I have to deal with in terms of juggling no. all these different people. We are the dreamers from the other side. We are the dancers who cannot be tonight. That no one can hide And there's no language on earth Where their voices are not heard They sing <laughs> Tonight you're playing at uh, 
Mount Park Community Church. Lots of room still, so if you'd like to see the full show, come on out and enjoy it. Would you please welcome down here? So anybody who would know the sound system, down here, down here, yeah, yeah, that's right, they're playing in your chapel tomorrow at 8.30. Wondering, uh, we'd like to just plug in, obviously because of our trip to the, the ferry, if we bring all our stuff in, it's going to be probably an hour tearing out of there and we'll, we'll miss our ferry. So how much, what do you have in the room? Okay. Nothing. Uh, they're in the gym. Yeah. Uh, they've grown. Um, Tonight's kind of the second night with everybody rolling and uh, I think it would be really good. We've had one kind of run through and after that you kind of get your feet wet and you know what needs to be done and everybody's got their jobs and so I think it should run pretty smoothly. We're in early, setting up early, spirits are high. Um, some of the guys are tired, we had an early morning but uh, other than that I think it's good. We're looking forward to it tonight. Um, have a lot of old students from Briarcrest here, that'll be a lot of fun. A lot of friends, family in the area so I think all around it should be a good night. These guys are alive, but the good thing is, or the thing is, now we got to get to the ferry by 10:30 so that we can leave to cross the water to get to Vancouver Island to get to Victoria for tonight. So we're moving as fast as we can. That's it. So we're getting on the ferry. Eh? Do we know which one? It's the uh, Spirit of British Columbia.
The walls are all surrounding What's behind the pain? So we're making our way over to Victoria and uh, as you can see there's a lot of inlets that you uh, sail through. It's not just a straight shot to the Vancouver Island but um, some of the most beautiful scenery that you could ever have is what you're seeing right now. Windy, very much more windy than it looks. It's cold. <laughs> Colder than well, it's about as cold as it looks. Lengthening Starfield's set tonight by 15 minutes, and we're shortening ours by half an hour. And that's cool. I mean, I, it's not a problem that we're both playing the same amount of time. I, I don't care at all, but it's taking 15 minutes off the whole evening. And I want people to not feel ripped off because we start at 7.30, and if we do that, then we're done at 9.30. And two hours for three bands this really doesn't seem like a whole lot of money's worth there. You know what? They want more, they'll ask for more. Yeah. And then, uh, we can play for half an hour. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I guess I need to take this upstairs, too. You know what else I need? Those strings. Hey, Steven. Can you grab those strings in my um, guitar case right there? Sure. Sometimes it's exhaustion, complete tiredness. It brings us to a spot where we're uh, at the end of ourselves. It's a little catchphrase I've been leaning on for a long time. Asking myself to come to the end of myself. Because it's when I come to the end of myself, when I come to the end of my resources, my emotional stability, when I come to the end of my fi finances, the finances, when I come to the end of my vocabulary, when I come to the end of just my understanding of how everything works, when I can't fix something, that, those are the times that I find maybe God shows up the most in my life.
So no encore, man. No encore. No, we weren't. We just weren't Sometimes feeling. Sometimes you suck. Sometimes you're good. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't matter. I don't think we sucked. <clears throat> uh, I don't think we sucked. Yeah, but you never know, it could've. See this? This is Jason's guitar. Do you think he'd like it if I signed it for him? No, is the answer. So, there's four of us tonight. Heck? It's me and Wes. Am I always the only guy that doesn't know anything? Wes's brother. No. No. You and the cameraman guy. Scott. What the heck? Our team is stacked, man. We're gonna win tonight. We're gonna win. We're gonna kick your butt. I don't appreciate that. It's not really a competition. It's just <laughs> we're. Uh, Wes kicking. I mean, we're Glenn just kicking my butt. We're just staying at people's homes, but we're gonna do it the best. Because we have the Morris brothers, and they're strong to quite strong. I'm with you. Yes, so I'm I should sorry. get in right now. Our <laughs> team is even more stacked now because Joel is on our team. Woo it's actually, uh, we were told it was a bed and breakfast, but it's actually, uh, I just asked them, I said, So, here we're staying at a bed and breakfast today. Like, no? So, uh, we're driving 20 minutes, but that's cool. I'm sure they're nice people, and we'll have a bed anyway, so that's cool. 20 minutes, however, will be midnight, and then we gotta be back here at 5.40, which means we gotta leave their place at 5.10 just to be safe, which means we have to get up at 4.30. Morris. <laughs> <laughs> so that gives us a good solid four and a half hours of sleep. After three nights of five, have you seen that dog sled movie where the guy, uh, or the guy sleeps like Iron Will? Is that Iron Will? I think yeah. it is. Yeah, he yeah, sleeps like less and less hours every night so he can win the race. And you're trying to win the race, Creston. We're only gonna sleep for four hours. We should have quite a lead by then. We should on somebody. I'm not sure who. <laughs> We'll be kicking somebody's butt, but I don't know whose butt it is. And that doesn't matter, because we need to do some serious butt kicking. <laughs> Leonard, mm -hmm. it's morning. Mm -hmm. It's morning. No, it's not. It's still night. You can't fool me.
I don't know what a whale sounds like. Hey, you know what a whale sounds like? It sounds like the bridge in uh, Comatose. We have some whale sounds on there. I gave it the college try though. Missed the killer whales. Yeah. yeah. You missed the fight too. What fight? <laughs> it was funny. I was sleeping on the cold cement floor. Watch this. This is usually pre-concert stuff, but Wes is all uh, wound up, apparently. <laughs> Come on, Morris! You ready? So much for the strain of playing a game But champions always lose everything I won't treat your love Like an adolescent fling Cause when everyone's gone You're the only one who stays I can only love you more I'd rather be your stone Than light up under the sky I'd rather be your stone We've been in the van uh, nearly 12 hours so far, and uh, I'm having a little bit of an issue with this van. It sounds basically like we're at a rock concert, which we were kind of hoping to avoid today. Today is kind of the day off, but there's a lot of vibrations going on. I'm not sure what the deal is. I'm definitely not the one to ask, but 
we're just gonna pray and drive that we get to our destination tonight because there's nowhere on the way to actually get it fixed. But I got a little problem. <laughs> I need a place to, to sleep about, oh, I don't know, half a dozen guys tonight. So the skinny is we've got some technical difficulties with our van. Yeah, there's oil all back across yeah. the spare tire and all over everything. And uh, it appears we're going to stay here this evening, keep that van here with uh, a few of the band members, and uh, we're going to send the other van ahead. Can we crash at the church on the floor or something? What's up? It is night time. Uh, the roads are hazardous. Sober. The van is more full than it should be. It's all dangerous. We're watching movies. There's a truck coming straight for us. So we made it. It was a close one, wasn't it? You could tell we were all frightened. Oh man, more tea. Whatever we can weed out as far as the things I'm singing, I don't know how it'll be. If I was as bad as a check, like my voice is just running right out. Well, at least we'll know. Myself either. Yeah, I don't want to. It's it's it is really bad though, I know it is for sure. So, as far as singing. Um, what what song? I think I'll be okay for the verse. It's just because. See how we do. Mark. We'll try get some tea and try warm up your voice. Yeah. yeah, I've got some throat stuff that I'm gonna try using. I have no idea what the audience is gonna be like tonight. I have no idea how many people are gonna be there. I can guarantee there's gonna be non-Christians. Just kind of giving you a little bit of insight. It's just a, a town where kids don't go anywhere because there's nowhere to go. You know, we are a to guitar tonight, and one is good enough. Um, we had a little bit of a mis mishap during the sound check, and uh, one of our brand new guitars just toppled over and snapped. So, you know, it happens when we're on the road. It uh, comes with the territory of traveling from town to town. Um, Creston's no exception. You don't get a lot of bands in Creston, do you? <laughs> Not a lot of rock stars come to the Creston. We're so glad we're impressed. You know why? Not only are we so glad to hang out with all of you. This is the stuff that, uh, you know, kind of always takes you back and say, why, why are we doing this and why? <clears throat> You know, it's funny, I break a guitar and I lose my voice, both of which have not happened ever before in the history of down here. And I'm singing songs like, you free me up to live this life far from any earthly sense of home, and there's nothing here I really own. That's the time that you know that, you know, at least you're singing about the right thing. <clears throat> when it's a reminder to yourself, when your own, when the songs that you're playing night after night minister to you, because you just had a really bad day. Just 9-9, eh? Oh, 
Alaska. Yeah, it's cheaper in Alberta. Green tea. It always is. Uh, I guess so. How about with the is less annoying. How Better just to sit here and just wait till they tell us what to do. Kind of Hang out, you know. with the leadership. You know? Not making any decisions. Not worrying. Actually, uh, yeah. The worry part actually happens sometimes. Happens sometimes. Just worried that I was supposed to know something. I can't say you brought me down this far. It's complicated. Face down and bleeding from this world. Could you forget? Down here, sales have been excellent this year. How did you dent my van? Uh, we were trying to do a donut. Oh! Yeah. I'm trying to think of something serious to tell you, but it's, 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 it's not happening right now. Well, I mean, a, a serious thing would be that our merchandise probably isn't going to make it tonight. Which is a little bit of a concern, seeing as that's kind of our bread and butter. But it's okay, because really, the Lord will provide. I can't say the last time. Days. I believe that would be March the 17th, the what's, day what's special about we that? return to the United States of America. Like minus 30 out here, man. Celsius, of course, being over in Canada. Thank you for the talents you've given us and the time that you've given us to do it. And um, <coughs> we want to be faithful. You're an awesome and holy God, and you deserve all praise. <laughs> It's so cold, I can't plug the input in Stop because it's expanded. Good. Thanks, guys. It's very, very, very cold. I think I, I, think I brought a hair dryer. <laughs> so welcome to Canada. Welcome. We love it here.
not good. And, you know, strange house, being sick, not feeling like you want to put people out, but at the same time, it was a feverish night with very little sleep, lots of t tossing and turning and lots of praying, dear Lord, take me out of my misery. I'll go home right now if you want. I haven't checked my mail in a long time. 509 unread emails. <laughs> a little behind. Oh well. I've had a really bad week. Uh, came down with a strep throat. I broke a guitar. A new guitar that my wife bought me. That's the tip of an iceberg of not even, not even the, the beginnings of the problems of uh, what you're facing, I'm sure. It's almost like he's looking down on us saying, I know you. You've been hurt. You've been broken. You've been lied to. Someone stepped on you. And it hurts all over. Maybe some disease. Or someone has stolen life from you. And you don't know why. And it keeps ringing in your ears. The disciples were on the Sea of Galilee when a huge storm came. Threatened to overturn the boat. They said, where's Jesus? He's sleeping. Someone walked to the underneath the deck of the boat and asked Jesus, Don't you know there's a storm? Don't you care if we drown? Jesus walks onto the deck of the boat, speaks to the wind and the waves. The storm comes to a hush. And he turns to his disciples and says, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? When everything is wrong, the day has passed and nothing's done. When the whole world seems against me. There's a storm in my head I'm afraid of sinking in despair I teach me, Lord, to have faith In what you're bringing me well Change my life and Here at a church that we uh, haven't really had a chance to practice to do anything for. Partly because Jason is sick here, so we're left with just Jeremy, Mark, and myself. So I think one of the guys from Even is going to help us out, but we're a little. Uh, kind of down is the right word. We're trying to figure out how this is going to work, so. Who's sick today? Jason. 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 Lord, I'd like to really pray for Jason. And I know going to a doctor tonight. I pray that you be with them down here tonight as they share uh, through music, through uh, through what Jesus means to them, through word, and those who maybe have never heard that the Holy Spirit would just touch their hearts. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. And uh, there's going to be some music. We're going to have you guys sing along. The Lord. <laughs> 
really did something tonight because uh, yeah. I sure didn't have the energy to do anything. So how are you guys uh, enjoying enjoying the fine warm weather here in Saskatoon? Cause you're gonna see I shouldn't sing, period. I'm not, the, the doctor said I shouldn't sing or even try not to talk with strep throat. Okay. So, dial that in 50% and I'll probably end up singing again tonight. Because that's the nature of what we have to do. Sure nice to have this guy back. Jason, we, we missed you. We're not a band with Epa Jermaine. Uh. <coughs> <coughs> Gee, guys, I feel affirmed. I really do. I'm not just saying that. It's nice to be... It's nice to be missed and wanted, of course. <coughs> even though you're dying, even though I'm hacking up pieces of my liver up on stage. We're going to go put them back in later tonight. Are you kidding me right there now, Jay? Or is it Africa? I just need to know. This dude's case. I'm going to hold it off for a few more days. Okay, we'll keep denying? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> you're going to need to deny for another four days. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's a scoop. Thursday morning we fly out at 7.20 from Regina to London. We get into London and we'll pick up the van and trailer and drive from that we're getting about 1.30 on Thursday afternoon. Mm -hmm. We drive from London to Chicago Thursday night and then we we'll spend the night. I've got to get to the airport by like 6 so I can get back to Nashville for the wedding. Hotel room, yeah, right by the airport. Friday after you guys or well whenever you wake up you need to get to Wheaton College by probably 11 11 30 you're gonna all the sound equipments there and it should be set up by 12 um, you guys will walk in set up instruments and sound check as quickly as possible because we need to strike all the instruments including drum kit drive to Decatur set up sound check do a concert that night hour and a half and then once everything's all broken down drive back to Wheaton <laughs> to the hotel where I'll have I'll have a hotel book for you guys right by Wheaton and then that Saturday morning you guys leave worship from 8 30 to 9 and then concert right after lunch for 40 minutes or so and then leave worship again from like 5 30 to 6 and then you guys are done What exactly about this deserves my life? Why exactly am I doing this? And then I was brought back to my, my calling and, and God just asking me to be faithful with my gifts and, and share my heart for Him with other people, regardless of what's going on. And maybe I was able to do it a little better. Maybe we were able to do it a bit better because we were weaker. If at the end of tonight, something really cool happened, it's obvious that it wasn't us because we have nothing to offer.
strife is getting in the way. And frankly, I did not plan on getting hurt today. From your chair in the clouds, benevolence are your ways. While the beggar bleeds, the children play.
good intentions Break the walls of these dimensions Paint a picture of our eternity And we'll sing the songs of heaven Be the chorus you have chosen Need your grace to echo the saints and journey on.